Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you uh, the basic model of credit card for basic model of machine learning. That is credit card for detection. जब भी हम लोग मशीन लर्निंग स्टार्ट करते हैं तो सबसे पहले क्रेडिट कार्ड फॉर डिटेक्शन ही करते हैं क्योंकि एकदम मतलब ये लिटिल बिट इट इज लिटिल बिट इजियर साइड ओके तो हियर वी यूज नंपाई पांडाज एंड साइकिल लर्न लाइब्रेरी लाइक वी 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 आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस मॉडल यूजिंग लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन बिकॉज लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन फिट्स बेस्ट इन द इन दिस मॉडल इन दिस क्रेडिट कार्ड फॉर डिटेक्शन मॉडल ओके तो लेट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टू इम्पोर्ट नंपाई पांडाज Uh, and some cycle run uh, cycle run libraries and of course we have to import the uh, import the different uh, test split okay and now uh, we are, here we are uh, uh, putting logistic regression and also accuracy data to measure the accuracy score accuracy data how our model is perfect and uh, how much uh, it uh, it is uh, efficient okay so uh, we are using a credit card uh, dot csv data data set it is a data set you can see here i can show you it is a comma separated values it is written in comma separated values so uh, you don't you you have to just download it from kaggle okay now import the data set using panda pd.csv now uh, read the data uh, print the, the first type model using data dot head and now we also uh, can see the tail last type and now now uh, we we are going to Now uh, see if there are null values and any and blank missing values null values okay so there is no null values and missing values now here here we are uh, taking the total counts okay for zero and one uh, zero is for normal transaction and one is for fraudulent fraudulent transaction uh, you can see here like here zero uh, it is a no, uh, fraudulent transaction and uh, Also, uh, normal transaction also also exists. Okay, so zero is for normal transaction and one is for fraudulent transaction. Okay, sorry, I I, I said wrong. So uh, if a class value is zero, it is a normal transaction. If class value is one, it is a fraudulent transaction. Tra class value exists in cl class column. Here is a class column. You can see here. Now after that, after that uh, we are storing the storing the data uh, of a fraudulent transaction and. Uh, And normal transaction is legit and fraud respectively okay so here uh, we are printing the shape of the shape or basically row and column total row and column of the uh, fraudulent data and normal data so we are using here uh, for the for basic information described uh, about the mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value 70 to 25 percent values and so on same for fraudulent transaction value uh, data now uh, We are using data dot group by class, group by, and uh, we are grouping the class value, and using uh, by using dot mean value. Okay. Now, uh, let it let it sample here uh, and equal to nine four ninety two. You can see. Ah uh, yes, yeah. You can see there is a four ninety two legit value, legit transaction. Okay. That's why here we are here we we write four ninety two and equal to four ninety two. Now. the uh, we are, we store we are storing the new uh, we are storing the legit and fraud only legit and fraud uh, data set into and uh, concatenating into a single data set that's why here we, uh, we used concat concat function is used to uh, add the fraud uh, add the like two tables into one merge the two tables into one here we are uh, there are two tables are legit sample and fraud legit sample here is legit sample and mm, Fraud, yeah, fraud. Uh, fraud is basically the original fraudulent uh, data set. Okay. So now, in the new data set, yeah, uh, we can get by concatenating the two data set. You can see the head values and tail values also. Now, basically, why we are, why we are uh, doing the new data set? Because uh, why we are concatenating? Because of uh, balancing the data. You know, uh, balancing data, the new counts, data counts is also important. If there is a uh, class value, and there is a four ninety two data having class value zero, uh, th there must be, there should be or must be considered, you uh, four ninety two uh, values for class value one. Okay, so the uh, by doing this, that model will be perform very efficiently because of the equal amount of training, equal amount of data is uh, supplied and uh, given to the model. 